good your voice doesn't get hurt. And it's good to know that your voice does matter and it's a great opportunity for um, them to come, learn a lot of good information about um, who they are, the system, uh, as being males of color and be able to share their experiences. Uh, what my hope here was today was just to kind of reinforce uh, what it is to be, what the true definition of, of, of masculinity is. is it's, it's, it's about being a willingness to be vulnerable. It's a willingness to open up. It's a willingness to show strength, not in the, and not in the, the way that we're taught, such as through violence or, or hypersexuality, but through responsibility, through self-control, um, through restraint. And so these are the things that really help to, will help to um, ameliorate a lot of the issues that we're having in um, minority communities and especially with our, our minority males and so that was the purpose of me coming today and and I think this uh, conference is fantastic for that very purpose I'm very proud to be a part of it and um, I strongly encourage anybody who want to send their child to this uh, young male to their, their child to this conference I strongly encourage it um, it is one it's something that's sorely needed I saw young men break down walls and move forward. I saw, um, I saw adults come in to support young men. I saw a lot of hope be given today and I saw many students um, get excited for the futures that they deserve to have. For me, the Youth Summit is really a chance to think about the importance of education, the power of education, but also the value of these children and the real chance that hopefully they'll have to make a contribution to this nation, to their communities, and really to fashion better lives for themselves, lives that, uh, as I spoke about earlier today, that really speak to the issues of freedom and equality and justice, ideas that hopefully uh, lead them towards education and lead them towards the best possible future lives that they can have.